Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential trigonometric equation. Now we have 2 to the power tangent squared x plus 2 to the power secant squared x equals 3 times the cube root of 2. Such a weird number, such an irrational number, but we're going to solve this equation. First of all, it's exponential, so it might be helpful to simplify this a little bit before we can solve it. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take advantage of an identity that is hopefully well known by you if you're doing trigonometry. Definitely, you should uh, know this identity. My cat, by the way, is trying to grab my Apple Pencil. No, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the following. Secant squared can be written as 1 plus tangent squared x. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. This is the exponent. So if you see I'm writing like weird ways, uh, that's because she's trying to bite the pencil anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the secant squared with that. Let's see what happens. So 2 to the power 1 plus tangent squared x equals 3 times the cube root of 2. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and split up the exponents here. We can write this as 2 to the power tangent squared x plus 2 to the first power times 2 to the power tangent squared x. So I can put the 1 there if you want, but that's not necessary. So now we can keep the right hand side as is. And now notice that I'm kind of like looking at the same expression. Uh, 1 apple plus 2 apples, that's going to make 3 apples. So I have 3 times 2 to the power tangent squared x here, which is very nice because I have another 3. Uh oh, that's a really weird writing. I can't blame my cat for that because she's gone. But anyways, so that's what I get. I can divide both sides by 3 now, which helps us a great deal because we ended up now with a single uh, exponential expression, which is very nice. Right-hand side works. Uh, we need a little bit of work. The cube root of 2 can be written as 2 to the power 1 third. That wasn't too hard, right? Well, it's really nice, the relationship between the radicals and exponentials is you can write a radical uh, as an exponential using rational exponents, which is really nice. Okay, anyways, or you could, it could also be irrational because if you had a pi in, instead of the 3, it would be 1 over pi. Anyways, that's another story. Now, we got two exponentials with the same base, so I can go ahead and set the exponents equal to each other. So this implies tangent squared x equals one third. And that's really nice because we can solve this equation, right? Okay, how? Well, if tangent squared is one third, there are two results. Either tangent x is the square root of one third, which can be written as one over square root of three, or it is equal to negative one over square root of three. Awesome. So we're going to be looking at the solutions. You can first look at solutions between 0 and 2 pi, since these are trigonometric functions. And then you can kind of generalize it by adding, you know, the period, whatever. But I'm also going to show you a graph, which will explain why we have so many solutions. We have infinitely many solutions. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the ones that we can, you know, quickly write. First of all, the tangent of which acute angle is 1 over square root of 3. If you know your 30, 60, 90 triangle, by the way, I don't like writing degree symbol, I hope you don't mind, but I still wrote it. Anyways, this is like 1 to n square root of 3, so tangent 30, right? That is pi over 6. So from here, we can safely say that, hey, x is equal to pi over 6. Okay, great. So pi over 6 works, but there's more than pi over 6, right? Obviously, you can add pi over pi to it, that's going to give you 7 pi over 6, another root. But if you add another pi to it, you're going to be outside the 2 pi range, so you don't really have to worry too much about it. For negative 1 third, let's take advantage of the unit circle. Since we have the pi over 6 here, something like this, and I want that to be negative, I would just, you know, reflect it, right? So this is going to be one of the values, and that is going to be pi minus pi over 6, which is... 5 pi over 6, right? So that's going to give you the other x value uh, from the second equation. And obviously by adding a pi to it, we're going to get 11 pi over 6, which is going to be another solution between 0 and 2 pi. Let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we'll finish up with that. So I graphed 
this function for you, 2 to the power of tangent squared x plus 2 to the power of secant squared x, which is kind of like a parabola, but it's not a parabola. Uh, and the intersection with the horizontal line y equals 3 times the cube root of 2, which obviously gives you all the solutions. So these are all going to be the all the intersection points, you know, positive and negative are going to give you the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to watch the shorts, and bye-bye.